Hello everybody, welcome back. Ruben, Texas, all water fishing. It is just, oh yeah, we're about at sunrise. It's right behind me. We're in beautiful Galveston, West Bay. It is just right after a cold front, so it's a little cool this morning. And it's gonna warm up as the day goes on. We have, we're real close to high tide and then we have an outgoing tide all day, so. It's a real low bite forecast though. Water is looking good, I'm seeing mullet. Just getting, just launching, I'm seeing mullet in the water already. <laughs> So the water is looking good. A little bit of a high pressure system looks like. So it's kind of why the bite's going to be a little bit tough, I think, today. But you know what? Any day on the water is a good day. So I'm looking forward to being back out here. Very calm conditions. I mean, it is completely and totally flat. No wind. Hallelujah. Thank God. All right. So we're going to get cat. We're going to get fishing. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel go ahead and do so hit the sub button while i take you through this b-roll give you the opportunity to hit the sub button also like the video don't forget at the end of the video share the video and leave a comment if you have a comment and uh hopefully you're gonna catch me hooking up today fingers crossed wish me luck All right, so like I said, I'm really seeing mullet just like right out of the launch, right out of the gate. It's mullet, fish are, fish are flying, birds are flying. The moon's out just a little bit. You know, the moon is still out, so that's never, you never want to have the moon out like throughout the whole day. When you have the moon out throughout the whole day, it's a tough, tough bite. So I'm hoping that guy goes away here in a little bit. But yeah, it is completely and totally flat out here in the bay. I have a tandem set up. I'm gonna put this guy on and, and try to get a couple fish. Looking for a couple flounder, maybe a couple reds, maybe a couple specks. Tight line braid, H2O Ethos Express Tac 40 rod set up. It's about a seven foot, no, it's 6'9. Moderate, fast, medium action. I love these rods. Carbon fiber handle there's great rods got a chatter weight 30 pound yozurion leader line i'm gonna put a i don't have any of these left but this is like a translucent shrimp pink shrimp now in good water clarity pink works great and it's translucent got some flakes in it i'm gonna put that guy on bottom it's always good to make sure you have a a decent presentation to the fish you want that lure to be as straight as possible when you put it on your jig head the next jig head we're going with the next lure we're going with is a gulp swim mullet on the smaller profile again a bit a little cooler white is a neutral color and it works great in clean or dirty water like I said the water clarity here is clean but it doesn't mean that it's gonna it's going to be clean everywhere we fish today. So this is a good good neutral color. Even if the, the pink doesn't um, doesn't produce or doesn't, if they, we get in more dirty water and the pink's not uh, as visible as, as the white, we still have the white on to kind of combat that. Got to chatter weight. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Woohoo! I'm excited about today. Look at today. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous out here. I mean, you can't ask for anything better birds seagulls making noise it's flat it's calm you can see you can see a fish fart you can see any you can see everything that's so calm out here i'm excited man because you don't understand you don't understand i fish no matter what so i go out i get beat up by the wind i get skunked i was always not gonna make a video so a lot of times you miss those days when i'm on the water and I'm out there getting hammered by the wind, the rain, the cold, 
you know the video just doesn't doesn't get produced doesn't get made I saw something poke up All right, over here could have just been a mullet Hoping it was something a little more though. Got a little bit of a drain right here. Anytime you have any kind of drain, you always want to uh, cast around it, cast in it, cast through it. It can be a predator fish waiting for some bait to move in and out the area. a little heavy I think it might be snot grass or that it might be a fish if it is I kind of throw on its head there we go it is a fish and I did throw on his head what are you a little rat red a little flounder oh look at that speckled trout I caught him right in the belly well he was going for the white one and uh, he got hit with the other one right in the belly I thought I felt a little guy. It was a little guy. It's right in the belly, bud. I'm gonna get you out and on your way. There we go. You're free. Nice little speckler. It's first of the day. He got caught window shopping. But yeah, see see how far out I was? I was I was kind of far out from this drain. And and he was there. So he could have been. You know, they could have been one closer in, or what have you. You never know. I always cast. Coming up to a drain, I don't wait. I don't wait till I'm on top of the drain to cast in the drain. I cast on the outside of the drain. And then as I get closer, I'll cast further in the drain. So as I'm moving through an area, I am constantly scanning the water surface. I'm scanning the grass line. I'm scanning the open water. I'm scanning the far water's edge i'm looking for it's so still right now i'm looking just for any kind of movement you can see nervous water bait jumping bait moving grass moving any kind of wakes or boils just anything to indicate that there's life that's what i'm doing right now i'm just Scanning and scanning as I move through I scan here. I scan there. I mean the grass line sure Always grass line, but also like in the open open space there. I mean fish are fish They're They're gonna move wherever if there's a big school and a bait in the open area Then the fish are gonna be over there, but yeah, I mean not just structure, but just Anywhere I just scan and scan and scan the whole time. I'm moving through then an area constantly just looking for the fish even looking for bait, I will cast in and around bait, even if I don't see the predator fish. Especially for flounder, because a lot of times flounder won't tell you where they're at. They're on bottom. You know, the bait might tell you that they're there if they're running or jumping or being nervous. But for the most part, flounder won't tell you where they're at. So it's always good to look and scan and scan, and I never stop looking at my head is constantly on the swivel. I just saw bait get pushed over here. Well, it might be a red. Let's see. If he's still in this area. Might need to put the cork on or toss the cork to try to pick him up better. Try to draw him in to the sound. There's the cork. Let's see. Hopefully we can draw him into this sound. Because I saw bait jump and get pushed. So that's a very good sign. That's what you want to see. A red just told on himself out here. Hopefully he'll hear this sound and this rattle of this cork. And he'll come and, and, and hit it. Sometimes the bad thing is that the red is chasing bait. And wherever the bait runs to, he'll run out of the area run further than than where I'm casting so I'm, I'm looking and looking so excuse me if the camera is a little jerky but I'm looking and looking and trying to see if I can um, see if I could see him so I could pick out where he 
direction he might have gone. It looked like he was cutting across this way. So, I might need to fish a little more in front of me. But sometimes they, they will chase the bait and do a, a quick whip. That's kind of what I was hoping that he, he did. He chased the bait a little bit and did a quick turnaround. There we go. There we go. He's on. Uh, might be trout. Feels like a trout, maybe. Or small red. Uh, might, might be a nice trout. Or... Uh. Yeah. I felt that nice big head shake, and it is a really nice trout. So, might be trout right here, right in the middle feeding. Got him on the voodoo shad, popping cork, four horsemen. Yes, yes, yes. Get him lipped up. We have an outgoing tide, so it's gonna push me back away from where I was fishing. If not, I'll put my I'll put my stake out pole down or even my my anchor to try to uh, to try to keep myself from going over the area I want to fish. But he's a nice guy. Yeah. See that voodoo shrimp down his throat. We're gonna lip them to secure them. And. Right, the roof of the mouth. He hit it while I was like scanning around and looking, so. I just felt that little bit of tension in my, in my line. Come on, there we go. Just right in the roof of the mouth. No harm, no foul. They get that guy out of the way we're not harvesting fish today he is heavy though he feels good nice weight to him not harvesting today i did bring i always bring my stringer or at least most of the time i try to bring my stringer just in case i do foul hook one but we're gonna wet the board and we're gonna let this guy go just gonna measure him real fast 19 just missing 19 inches just missing 19 inches nice big fish nice big fish Nice guy. Trout. Let him go. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was a big guy. I like that. I like that. Hopefully there's a couple more in this area. I was kind of closer to over there, but I'm gonna see if we can get another one. Yes, yes, yes. What we were hoping for. Well, actually I was looking for a red. I'm hoping for it. A slot fish so I got the monkey off my back with the slot all right so here is full horseman cork nice good rattle drawing them in with that and nice big voodoo shrimp love that voodoo if you don't voodoo you're missing out I'm just telling you Let's put a fresh scope on put root beer chartreuse tail swim mullet Took that pink one off, that translucent one. Go with two uh, two mullets. I'm gonna kind of hug the, this grass line a little bit. Come around and see if we can pick off a flatty. In a mood for a flounder. Let's see if we can make it work. There we go. There we go. There's a flatty. There we go. Ah, got that guy. I feel like a smaller one that's why i didn't wait on that hook set i had to freaking pop it really quick because i felt like a little guy get on the boat get in the boat get in the boat there he goes came off came off on the boat i knew he was small as soon as i felt him i'm like boom i want to set that hook i wanted it i wanted to uh get dead hooked and him hurt himself but just a baby just a little baby did you take my tail off no you didn't take my tail off that might be part of your lip. <laughs> a little bit of meat hanging out there from that little hook. You know, but that's what I was hoping for. Hoping for a little flounder. You know, just kind of fishing the area, working on bottom, working tan. I've been working it a while. I was I'm glad to finally have found one. But uh, yeah, just uh, throwing a tandem, throwing on bottom, trying to avoid the snot grass as much as possible, casting and casting. A lot of casts. I just threw in a lot of casts for that guy. 
Just really trying to work this whole area slow. Might be one. Might be a flounder. This has got heavy all of a sudden. There we go. <laughs> I really didn't know that time because between the snot grass and, and some of the other stuff under surface, I really didn't know. Yeah, this guy's gonna be. He got himself. He he's just on the roof of the mouth. Looks a little bloody, but he just got it on the roof of the mouth. But yeah, that guy right there. It's gonna go back in. We're gonna get him off. I think it's gonna be 15. I think it's gonna be about 15. Let's see. He just all of a sudden he was just boom. It was just heavy. Well, let's see. Let's see where he's at. Come on, guy. No, he is 14. 14 incher. We go. Looks like a trout. Uh, might be a red, but it feels like a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. It's a real nice one. Woo, that's a good one. Come on. Uh -uh. Oh, that's a real nice trout. My goodness, my net. It came back out. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's a real nice trout. Goodness, goodness gracious. Ah, oh, my goodness. Beautiful trout. Oh, wow. In the mouth. Voodoo shrimp. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Uh, right there. Right there. Beautiful fish. And uh, a nice big mouth. Look at that guy. Nice big mouth. Oh yeah. Boom boom. Alright, we're gonna get him off and get him measured up first. She's gonna be big girl, big girl. Coming at 22 inches. Woo! Uh, 22 inch big girl. Right there. Nice big girl. 22 inches with a pinch tail. We are happy. <laughs> Man, thanks for playing, girl. Thanks for playing. One more time. Nice big belly on her. Beautiful fish. We're going to let her go. Going to let her go. Whenever she's ready, she's going to take off. All right. That's going to wants to make it a little challenging come on she's moving her side fins there you go come on whenever you're ready she's coming back to life she wants to be she wants to be hard at it oh there she goes yep she's just waiting for me to move my hand off her belly she said don't hold my belly man so as soon as I want to go put my hand on her tail keep she kicked and went so awesome 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 yeah that's what i'm talking about man that is awesome that's well worth the price of admission <laughs> wow. 
Well, on that note, I think that's going to do it for me. You know what? I had a really good time. And I want to thank you guys for, for watching Texas All Water Fishing, clicking on this video. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Like the video. Leave a comment. Helps out tremendously. You know, that coast... That four horsemen cork and voodoo shrimp is a great combination. It really is killer. I also paired it up with some pearl cure today, and and that really that's really what caught the the specs today, which is a surprise to me because you know I started my day out looking for those flounder, uh, looking for the reds, and specs are I hate to say it a lot of times they're an afterthought. So you know I. I, I <laughs> truly a blessing to get on them to say the least but thanks again guys i hope you enjoyed this video i had fun beautiful galveston west bay in the kayak great day sun is out you can't get any better than this thanks again guys and hopefully next time you catch me hooking up thanks